It's an honor to be here with you at the Astoria Islamic Center. Uh, we are here on behalf of, uh, of course, Guide Us TV, the brainchild of Sheikh Yusuf Estes, and also to help support the Madrasa Al Badr in Jersey City. Tonight we wanted to talk a little bit about some of the challenges that face the Muslim community here in America. And as you know, we're living in a time when Muslims are spread all throughout the world. In fact, our Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there will come a time when every single household will be touched by the message of Islam. And today, I firmly believe that there's never been a time in the history of Islam or in the history of the Muslims where we have been as spread out and spread apart as we are today in this 15th century Hijra corresponding to the 21st century of the Western world. In fact, we have perhaps, Allahu Alam, perhaps we have as many Muslims living in non-Muslim lands as we do in the Muslim lands. And so it's very, very hard now to distinguish between what we, we used to call Darul Islam and Darul Kufr. In fact, although we know the, the signs of Darul Islam is that you, you go and you hear the Adhan in, in the neighborhood, you can walk out of your, your home and be right in the masjid down the street. You see, you see the women, alhamdulillah, covering themselves properly in the, in the, the, the proper attire of hijab, uh, khimar, and in most cases, or in some cases, the niqab. But I believe many of you here tonight will, will admit that while, yes, we come from Muslim lands, we come from Egypt, Saudi Arabia, we come from Sudan, many, many places in, in the Gulf and across North Africa. We come from Pakistan, Kashmir, India, some from Malaysia. We can honestly say that here in America, I believe that we as Muslims have found a place where we can freely practice our deen. In many ways, more so than we can practice back home. I know some of you know, when you go back home, sometimes you have to shave your beard before they let you into the country. In some, some of our so-called Muslim countries, they don't allow for many Muslims to gather in a group outside of the, maybe the, mus the musallah or the masjid. They don't allow maybe that you go out and you give da'wah freely, inviting people to Islam. We assume that, oh, they're all Muslims there in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> That's not the case. There are non-Muslims in Saudi Arabia that need the da'wah, just like the non-Muslims over here. But you have to be careful what you say in many places throughout the Muslim world. So today it's very hard to distinguish or de delineate between what we used to call Dar al-Islam and Dar al-Kufr. What we used to call Dar al-Salam and Dar al-Harb. You see, the, the house of peace and the house of war. And while we know that this country is currently engaged in conflicts throughout the Muslim world for one reason or another, we also know that in the Muslim world there are conflicts within our own nation, within our own communities. And so this has left us in a, a very, very terrible dilemma. What challenge does this bring to us here in America?